everyone. Today we're going to do some Pilates for core strength. So we're going to start seated at the front of our mat, pointing our toes, opening our knees, opening our chest, breathe in. And then exhale, close the knees, round the spine, tuck the chin to the neck, start to feel your belly button draw towards the spine, breathe in. Then exhale, let's come down just a little lower so that our lower back imprints into the mat. We're going to begin to pump those palms down for our Pilates 100, breathing in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Now lift the feet if possible. If not, just keep those toes down. And then let's see if we can create a little diamond shape with those legs. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, exhale, and close. So I love this little variation because it's gonna help you feel those lower abs engage a little more as you open. And exhale, close, two, three, four, five. Again, open through that diamond, two, three, four, five, exhale, and close, two, three, four, five. Two more sets, open, two, three, four, five, exhale, and close, two, three, four, five. Last time, let's open, two, three, four, five, exhale, and close, two, three, four, now on five, extend those legs, breathe, exhale, two, three, four, five, breathing in, two, three, four, really firing up that core, last one, exhale, two, three, four, on five, hug those knees and relax. Let your head turn side to side. So we're just gonna keep waking up that core, but let's activate those glutes. So arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, roll up the reach vertebrae of your spine. Feel those glutes squeeze, and exhale, melt that spine back down one vertebrae at a time. So our glutes are really part of our core. It helps us stabilize everything from that center of the body. So we want to really feel strong here, two more. Roll up, roll that spine down. Last one, let's take that nice roll up. And roll the spine down, breathe in. Exhale, curl the chest and head up again. So shoulder blades lift and pull those knees in. Get those feet a little hug with your, with your hands or maybe touch those ankles. And then reach arms overhead, legs out, breathe in. Exhale, circle, hug those legs. Reach out, breathe in. Exhale, circle, hug those legs. Let's do four more here, four. And circle around, hug. Here's three, and circle around, hug. Here's two, and circle around, hug. Let's take one more, reach out, breathe in. Exhale, hug. Keep your chest up if you can. Let's stretch our right leg up, extend our left leg long, and pulse, pulse, and switch. Left leg in, pulse, pulse. We're doing our little scissors here, really activating again through those lower abdominals. Let's start to wake up that core, even more. Hands behind the head, opposite elbow to knee. Let's twist it out, eight, seven. Keep that breath going, six, five. Really feel that core firing up here, three, two, and one. Beautiful, hug those knees, relax. Let your spine just rock a little side to side. Let's see if we can bring our knees up to a little tabletop here. Arms out to the side, roll the knees over to the right, breathe in. Exhale, engage the core, pull center. And then let's roll the knees to the left. Exhale, engage, pull center, just side to side here for four. Again, this is just a quick warm up. This is a great workout to do every day when you just need a little bit of core engagement. Exhale, pull center, last one, breathe in. Exhale, center, very good. And exhale. And that whole body long. Legs out, arms back, breathe in. Exhale, peel each vertebrae up to seated. And we'll take a nice forward fold. So just kind of take a moment, catch your breath. And we're going to just take some nice deep breaths in and out. Good. One more big breath in. Exhale, roll up. Let's slide our hands back. Take a reverse plank. Lift those hips again. Keep that back engaged. Working that whole core. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Let's go to our side. I want to make sure we're getting a little side engagement. So slide that elbow right under your shoulder, stacking up hips and shoulders, and we're going to be lifting that bottom hip and lowering. So you can place your hand behind your head, on your hip, whatever's comfortable. We're just going to go here for eight and seven, really feeling this oblique. Six and five. Very good. Here we have four and three and two. And one. Now lower that hip. Let's see if we can slide down. Let our head rest on our arm and now lift those legs out. Let's just try lower and lift for one. And two. Place your hand in front of you if you need a little more balance. Four. And five. And six. Very good. And seven. Now on eight. Lift those legs. Let's see if we can come back up to a little balance on that side of the hip. Maybe extend the arm. Maybe let go. Four. Three. Two. Let's swing the legs the other way. Beautiful. Let's come on down. Other side, okay? So get that elbow right under the shoulder. Core engage, breathe in. Exhale, lift the hip in. Here we go. Tap, lift one. Tap, 
lift two, tap, lift three, keep squeezing through that core, four, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful, let's slowly come down. Head rest on that bottom arm, breathe in. Exhale, extend those legs, let's lower and lift. Lower and lift. Sometimes I like to just place the head into the hand as well. You're totally welcome to do that. Just keep that rib cage down on the floor. Four and three. You're doing great. Lift those legs. Keep them together. And one hold. Maybe come up to your elbow. Maybe to your hand. Reach along. Maybe let go. Four, three, two. Beautiful. And we're going to swing those legs around again. And this time come up to our hands and knees. Great job. So just take a little cat cow. Stretch that out. Head and tailbone down release head and tailbone up. So although we're doing a little bit of core work, we are also making sure that we're stretching a little bit. We want to keep that spine and that core open as well as strong. So one more big cat stretch, one more releasing cow, and then reach those hands forward. Take a nice puppy stretch, arms forward. Let's maybe even bend our elbows, palms towards the top of the head. This just helps us release those triceps, shoulders, chest, upper back. I love for you all to feel open as well as strong. So you want to feel really open and strong here. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's come to our elbows now. We're going to tuck our toes under and find a low plank. Okay? So we'll check in with your body. If your hips are up here, lower those hips down in line with those shoulders. We're going to hold 10. Now this is a core challenge, so it's going to be a little bit longer. Six, five, four, three, two on one. Let's stay up and rock those hips side to side. Let's go here for 10. Nine, eight, seven. Keep that breath going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hold center. Now let's just rock those heels forward and back for ten. Nine. Keep that breath going. Belly button to the spine. Seven, six, five. You can do this. Four, three, two, and one. Let's just hold it. Hold one more set, guys. Ten. Nine. You're so strong. Hang in there. Six, five. We can breathe through this. Four. Three, two, and one. Release the belly, lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathe in. Exhale, catch your breath. We are almost there. We've worked our obliques, our abdominals. We're going to get into our back a little bit more. So point through your toes, lift those thighs, lift the arms, and let's begin alternating that swim. So when right arm lifts, left leg lifts. When right leg lifts, left arm lifts. And you can take this at your own tempo. I'm going to count us out for 10, 9, 8, Seven. Keep that breath going. Six, five, four, three, two on one. Open your body to a big star shape and lower. Let your head turn to one side. Quick little rest. Breathe in. Okay, here we go. Exhale. Lift everything back up and just pull those elbows back. Clap those heels together and open. Let's go for eight, seven. Keep that breath going. Six, five. Keep that breath going. Four, three. You're doing great here. Two. And then on one, pull those elbows back, bend the knees. Let's press ourselves up like we're coming up from a push-up. Stretch back into a little child's pose. Take some deep breaths. You did it. That was your core challenge. So just that little 10 minutes of core work, if you can do every day, you're going to feel stronger. And I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like more workouts like this. And we have yoga, Pilates, dance classes. So come check it out, and you can also come see us in person at 1103 Portage Street, Kalamazoo, Michigan, and come join us for class. Have a beautiful day. See you later.